Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. And today, today, Jeannie Young is going to show you all how quick and simple you can make a rack of baby back ribs. When is the last time you all had baby back ribs? Baby back ribs that are going to slide right off the bone. These baby back ribs are going to be so tender. They're going to be so flavorful. They're going to be amazing and you're not going to be able to forget this recipe. Here's what you're going to need. You will need, of course, baby back ribs. And over here, you will need apple juice. Now, if you didn't want to use apple juice, you can use pear juice as well. What the apple juice is going to do is it's going to steam into the meat. It's going to help to flavor that meat, and it's going to get it nice and tender. If you didn't want to use apple juice, you can use pear juice as well. It'll do the exact same thing. It'll flavor it. It'll tenderize it. You don't want to leave that ingredient out. And absolutely, you can buy the kind that's sugar-free as well. You're going to need garlic powder, onion powder, cracked black pepper. Right here, I have some KC barbecue rub, parsley flakes, and I also have bone sucking sauce. When I make ribs, I have to have some type of dry rub. You always wanna use some type of dry rub. It makes it taste better. And if you're that person that's not a fan of barbecue sauce, just use the dry rubs only and you'll be satisfied with that as well. Now, me personally, I'm gonna use my favorite barbecue sauce. So that's what I have over here towards the end. And I have a little bit of olive oil that we're going to rub our meat with. You have to rub your meat with olive oil. It helps to get it nice and tender. And it'll help to adhere all of these beautiful spices that we have. I also have in the orange packet there, I have a packet of Sazon that I'm going to rub on there. Those of you that are familiar with me, you know that I love to use Sazon. It gives a beautiful color as well as a beautiful taste. And I have two cloves of garlic that we're just going to smash with our hand and throw it in here for flavor as well. But the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure that your hands are impeccably clean. Make sure that your sink is clean as well. And you're gonna want to clean your meat. I've already cleaned my meat and I've used vinegar, sea salt, and cold water. And I've just given it a nice rub under cold water to get it nice and clean. So we've done that already. Now, your ribs, whether you buy St. Louis ribs, spare ribs, or baby back ribs, they're always going to have this silver skin right here. You want to take this silver skin off. Sometimes you can use a paper towel to, you know, so you can grab a hold of it and you just pull it back. Sometimes you might need to take a knife to grab a hold of it and start pulling back. This silver skin, there's a lot of people that like to eat it, but me personally, if you want a nut, look at this, see how it comes off? It comes off, very simple. A lot of people like to eat it, but me personally, I don't. And if you want a nice, tender, fall a party, fall a party, fall a party rib, this rib is gonna come off the bone when you go to pick it up, then you take this silver skin right off. And really it comes off that simple. And then you just discard of it because you don't wanna digest that, okay? And then you can see that I have some more silver skin left right here. It doesn't take any time to do this. Take the time out to pull that off. If you have any extra fat on here, just go ahead and take it off. A lot of it will just pull off, but if it doesn't, then you just grab kitchen shears or a knife and you cut off the unwanted fat all right see this here that's what a nice rack of baby back ribs should look like silver skin taken off you cut off any extra unwanted fat see that just like that all right first thing that we're going to do we're going to go ahead i want to discard of this We are going to take a little bit of olive oil. It can be vegetable oil as well. 
Just put your hands in there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to rub this meat down, okay? You want to do this. Like I said, I believe it helps to have a nice tender meat, and it also helps for your seasonings to adhere to this beautiful meat here. Take your time to rub some oil on just like so. Now, we're not going to do these on the grill today. We're going to do these in the oven, and they're going to taste just like you cook these on a grill. You hear me? Absolutely they will. Beautiful, my word. Now listen here, if you're that person that says, I can't find bone sucking sauce, or Gina, I can't find the KC barbecue rub, here's what you do. Go ahead, look at my other video that I have for barbecued spare ribs. And in that video, I show you how to make a dry rub spice. Very simple, very easy, okay? My dry rub spice is absolutely amazing, but I also love this bone sucking sauce here. Those of you that know me, you know that I love to, to suck on some bones. Absolutely I do, and I choose to use that a lot. But I also choose to use my dry rub as well. So either way you wanna make it, it's gonna turn out perfect. Trust me when I tell you this. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands since I've rubbed the meat because you don't want to handle the spices after rubbing this meat because you don't wanna transfer bacteria. Let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, let's get down to business. We are going to bring our rack over here, bring our camera on over, Follow me, everybody, to my counter. Great picture. Let's go ahead and start seasoning. I, I hope that you all get a chance to check out my spare rib video so that you can see how Gina Young makes my dry rub. This is garlic powder. This right here is onion powder. Get you some on there. Don't be afraid. Don't you dare be afraid to season this meat. You have to season your meat in order for it to in order for it to have an amazing taste. Only thing you have to be careful of always with everything you cook is your salt intake. So be very gentle with your salt. You all know how to be gentle. Don't put too much on there. This is sazon. Get you some on just like so. A little bit goes a long way. Trust me when I tell you this. I'm gonna put some parsley flakes on. The parsley flakes does not give it flavor, but it makes it nice and beautiful. And you all that know me, I like to eat with my eyes. I like for everything to be nice and beautiful. Cracked black pepper, get you some. I like to use a lot. Black pepper has antioxidants and it makes everything taste better. I hope that you all are having a great Friday. The weekend is here. Is anybody doing anything special this weekend? Anybody? This right here is my bone sucking sauce. It's absolutely amazing. If you get a chance to use it, use this for sure. You hear me? My word, hoo -wee. Girl, you're gonna hurt somebody with these ribs. Mm, mm, mm. Let me grab a fork because I don't want to touch the raw meat and then touch my spices because that can transfer bacteria. Give your slab a nice turnover. Now you can see that I'm not using salt. And the reason why I'm not using salt is because these seasonings have some salt in them. Okay, and really it's that simple. If you wanted to rub a little bit, just a little bit, if you wanted to rub some mustard on here, you can. Mustard has vinegar in it, and it would tenderize your meat and give a great flavor. Just don't, you only want to use a little bit, just a little bit to rub on the top and the bottom. Mustard is absolutely amazing on ribs. All right, let's go in with our onion powder. Oh, yeah. Garlic powder, mm-hmm. A little bit of parsley flakes to make it nice and beautiful once again. Beautiful. It smells, it smells absolutely amazing. This is the cracked black pepper. Ooh, 
Get you a nice amount on there. And then we are going to use the KC Barbecue Rub. KC Barbecue Rub, can you see that? It has some sugar in it. Let me see, I'll read it to you if I can. It has chili pepper, garlic, onion, spices, paprika, sugar, a smoked flavor. The smoke flavor in this is absolutely amazing. All right, and here's what I like to do. Don't think you're gonna put this in the oven right now. What you wanna do is you wanna let this set for 12 minutes. Don't take anything right out of the refrigerator and ever start to fry it or bake it right out of the refrigerator because what will happen is your meat will go into shock and you'll have a tough meat. And we don't cook any tough meats in Jeannie Young's kitchen. So you let it rest. We're gonna let this rest for 12 minutes and give those seasonings a chance to go deep down into that meat, all right? 12 minutes it will sit, it will marinate, it'll have some chance to take the, the chill off. Meanwhile, we're gonna prepare our dish or our pan. Give me one second, let me straighten my counter up a little bit. And then we're gonna put the remaining sazon right here on top. And you'll see the difference in the color of your seasonings once you go to put your, your meat in the pan. It'll be darker in color. And all that means is your spices have started to go down into the meat. Here's what you're gonna do. You've got two fresh garlic cloves and you don't have to use the garlic cloves if you don't want because we already use garlic powder. It's really up to your discretion, but I love to use fresh garlic. It gives an amazing taste. We don't have to chop it, okay? It's mashed enough. Put it right in your pan, just like so, okay? And that garlic right there, it'll just disintegrate into flavorless. Now, as far as your apple juice, and like I said, feel free to use sugar-free apple juice. If I can open this, there we go. <laughs> You're gonna pour apple juice into your pan, and we're gonna steam these ribs, and we're gonna start the cooking process, start getting these ribs nice and tender. And you're gonna cover this up with aluminum foil, and the aluminum foil is gonna help to achieve that steaming process with the apple juice. It's gonna give amazing flavor. It'll make it nice and tender, and people are gonna say, my goodness, like, like what did you do to these ribs? And you're gonna say, <laughs> Gina Young showed me how you are gonna use apple juice. You are gonna use pear juice. That's what the key is. All right, this is gonna set for a good 12 minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll put our ribs in our pan. We'll get them started in the oven. And I'll let you know exactly how long they need to cook in the oven. And then I'm going to show you how to baste. How you should baste your baby back ribs. We're not going to put too much sauce on them. We don't want a saucy, saucy, saucy rib. We want a rib that has barbecue sauce, but we don't want it to be too sweet. Sometimes people can put too much barbecue sauce on and it, it doesn't taste right, but I'm going to show you how to paint the barbecue sauce on so you can have just enough sauce on there, but not too much. I'll be back after 12 minutes. Okay, everybody, it has been 12 minutes, and you can see, let me show you. You can see how those spices have had time to soak down into that meat. That's beautiful. And the meat has had a chance to kind of um, warm up a little bit instead of being so cold going in the oven. All right, so we're just going to take this just like so. Let me get a good picture on my camera. Beautiful going to take your ribs and you're going to put them the top side up. Just lay them right in there. Just like this. Now, let's grab our foil and you want to put this foil on tight. Remember we have that beautiful garlic, but you 
some on top. And then you have that other clove down in there. Let's grab my aluminum foil and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. Go ahead and put this on nice and tight. If you don't already have your oven on 350 degrees, please do, please do so. Get this in the oven. And when I come back, I never really know the exact time as lo how long I'm going to cook these. Okay? So when I come back, um, during half of the cooking process, I'll show you what they look like. And then I'll let you know exactly how long they take to cook in this apple juice. All right? So this is going in the oven, 350 degrees. I'll be back. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Take a look. Take a look. 40 minutes, 350 degrees. These bad boys right here are going to be nice and tender. You hear me? Hoo-wee! Take a look at them. Take a look at them. Take a look at them. Now, here's what we're going to do. I like to let these cool down for maybe about 10 minutes so that I can handle them. Because I'm going to want to turn these upside down so that I can baste them with my barbecue sauce. Let me show you what I'm gonna to use to baste them. I'm going to use this here. See that there it has the bristles? And I'm gonna baste gently, not putting too much sauce on. I'm gonna baste the bottom, then I'm gonna baste the top. But what I'm gonna do, okay everybody, what we're gonna do, let me turn another light on. Okay, what we're gonna do, you can see that I have a baking sheet that I've aligned with aluminum foil. I have a cooling rack. You want to take your ribs and set them on the cooling rack. But you wanna set them on the cooling rack upside down. Make sure you give them some time to kind of rest a little so they can cool down so you can handle them. All right. This juice right here is absolutely amazing. I taste it with my spoon and I could have tasted it again. It's so tasty. Now, we're going to take our favorite barbecue sauce. If you're that person that doesn't like a wet sauce, then you don't have to use it. All you would do is take these oven, take these ribs, throw them back in the oven with a little bit more of your uh, rub sauce or your rub seasoning, throw them back in the oven, okay? So they can get kind of like a char on the top. Here's what we're gonna do. You take you some sauce, just like so. Don't get crazy with the sauce, all right? Because we're going to baste these ribs several times not just once maybe two or three times but when you put it on you want to put a nice thin layer see this that's how i believe ribs should be done nice thin layer you don't want it to be cakey i've seen that there's so many people that they just kind of squirt and pour their sauce on top of the ribs and they throw those bad boys in the oven and they are disgusting don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Take the time to brush them on. If you don't have a brush like this, feel free to use a rubber spatula, and you can get down into those crevices on the side. See that there? We want every part that we eat to have this beautifully glazed on barbecue sauce. See that? Now, how you know your ribs are done? The way you'll know, can you see how the meat is pulling away from the bone some? See how that bone right there and right here, they're sticking out from the meat? The meat kind of extracts a little bit and you'll start to see the bone. That's indicating that you need to go ahead and take the meat out of the oven. That was 40 minutes on 350 degrees. Now, going in once again, give them a nice flip. Make sure you put them on a cooling rack because the cooling rack will allow for your ribs not to sit in barbecue sauce. 
You don't want these ribs setting in a pile of barbecue sauce. The unwanted barbecue sauce will fall down at the bottom. All right, right now we're just putting a nice thin layer. Brush it on just like so. Throw it back in the oven 350 degrees for around about 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes of being in the oven with the first layer of barbecue sauce, we're gonna take it out. And then we're gonna put another layer on. Put it back in there for another 10 minutes. And if you feel like you need another brushing of the barbecue sauce, do so and throw them back in the oven for another five minutes. Okay, and really it's that simple. Okay, see that? Nice and glazed, beautiful, going in the oven. And I'll come back for our second basting. Okay, everybody, our ribs are out. They have a nice, beautiful glaze on them. Let's go ahead, put our second glaze on. Sometimes it all depends if I'm gonna do two glazes or three, okay? Most of the time it's two. All depends on how I feel and how they look after that sauce has somewhat baked in, okay? Looks like I might only use two, but all depends. This is going right back into the oven, 350 degrees, 15 more minutes. And then if you do a third one, that last base will only go in for five minutes. Going back in the oven. Let me give y'all a close up. Look at those bad boys. Look at those bad boys. Who wouldn't want these baby back ribs for Friday night? This is what we're having Friday night at the Young's house. Hey, listen here. It's 12 in the afternoon, and I have dinner done already. And it didn't take me any time. This right here, this right here is what I call baby back rib, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and say our prayer over these beautiful baby back ribs. We'll get our prayer out the way because when I come back, we wanna let these cool down enough so that I can show you how to slice down into them. And we'll give them a try, and I'm gonna let you all know what they taste like. God bless these ribs. Lord, we thank you for this food today. We thank you for your love, your time, your mercy, and your understanding. I pray for my YouTube family. I pray that you watch over them and keep them safe every day of their lives. I pray that you bless over them in Jesus' name, and I pray that no weapons formed against my viewers shall prosper. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities over my viewers. You hold their heart in your hand, and you turn it like a water course. Send your angels down to surround my viewers day and night. Send your Holy Spirit to help them make good decisions. Give them peace over their minds. Once again, I pray that no weapons formed against my viewers shall prosper. We bind the devil away from my viewers in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for the roof over our heads, the food that you feed us, and the love that you give us daily. Amen. All right. Now, you have to let these cool down. You want to get a great knife, a knife that's really nice and sharp. And we're going to cut these every other two. Now, you can cut them every one. If you cut them every one bone, you're going to have, you know, thin bones like this. But if you cut them every two, you might have one like this, one like this, one like that. Okay, so that's what we're wanting to do. I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to do two bones, one and two bones. So, so if you want two bones, you can grab one. All right, if you wanted to keep it like this, absolutely you can present it this way, but eventually they will need to get cut. This right here is how you cook baby back ribs. Hey, listen here, you never had these before, you better make you some. And you haven't had these before until you've tasted Jeannie Young style. Let's let these cool down and we'll come back and slice into them. Okay, everybody, let me show you how we're going to slice down into our ribs. Now, look at this. Easy cleanup. It's not a mess because we didn't put uh, a whole lot of sauce, but we put just enough sauce. See that? And you're just going to take the foil off, and everything else is nice and clean. Now, put this onto a clean cutting board, and you want to start to cut these bad boys. Hooey! Girl, mm-mm-mm. You are something else, Gina Young. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Let's see if I can find a bone, guys. Hold on here. Okay. I'm finding the bone. Just like this, you should be able to feel with your finger where the bone is, and you just slice right along those bones. Like I said, you can do every one rib or every two ribs. Heck, you could do every three ribs. Up to your discretion. I'm liking the one ribs right now because this, this rack is so meaty. My goodness. Hooey. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, where are you at, Bone? We're trying to get around you, baby. There you are. Come on, sometimes you gotta use a little bit of elbow grease. Let me show you something. Let me just, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just show you something. Let me show you some beautiful good loving. Listen here. If you all never had any good loving before, this right here, this recipe is where you're gonna find you some good loving. You hear me? If you're a bone sucker, then this recipe is definitely for you. Give this a try and let me know what you think. My goodness. Whew, look at all that going down my fingers. Oh my goodness, girl. Girlfriend. Mm -mm -mm. You are something else. Hooey, something else, girl. Don't hurt them. I won't. Don't hurt them. I won't. <laughs> All right. This part is going to give me the blues. Because, see, we have a bone here. I'm just going to try to do it this way. Beautiful. See, I can see the bone when I lift it up. Just have to kind of work with it. Okay? My goodness, girlfriend. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to wash this beautifulness off of my fingers. We're going to give one of these bones a try. I'm going to let y'all know what it tastes like. Oh, yeah. Hoo wee, girlfriend. Mm, mm, mm. You are something else. Girl, you are something else. Look at those ribs. Look at those ribs. This is what yours will look like as well. Let's dive in. Don't be afraid to get messy. Sometimes it's okay. It's okay to get messy sometimes, especially when you have Jeannie Young's baby back ribs, baby. Hooey. Let's go. Let's go. Take a bite. Take a bite right now because I am so ready for these ribs. Mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. They can't stop me. They can't stop me. Listen here. If you're that person that does not like pork ribs, then you turn around and get you some beef ribs and you do the exact same recipe and they will be delicious as well. You don't have to make the pork. Make the beef if you like beef. Hooey. All right, Gina. All right, Gina. Okay, baby. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm going to show you all how to clear a rib. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Doggone it. Ooh, I can't get to it fast enough. Give me that goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you guys, I need to get me a barbecue restaurant, and I am so serious. Mm, mm, mm. 
Mm, 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 mm. Make me want to sing. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, I want to sing a song. Mm, 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 mm. Mm hmm. Mm, that's good. Delicious. Oh, my goodness. Look at that bone. That bone is nice and clean. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time. Every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night. You better make you some.